Quakers were a Protestant group that formed in the late 1600s in the heat of the Protestant Reformation. They were known to worship so vehemently and violently that they would begin quaking and shaking before an all-powerful God. However, that would not become a doctrine of the Quaker faith soon after their formation. But another group would form out of the Quakers. This group would be known as the Shakers. Shakers were a predominantly pacifist group. However, unlike the Quakers, they came to the mountains of New York, Massachusetts, and New Hampshire, all the way into Ohio. And they started founding what were communal settlements. Everything in the settlement was shared. Shaker Commune was a life in absolution with God. And procreation was not allowed in a Shaker Commune. Therefore, most recruitment had to come through either adoption of people from the local community or conversion of people into devout followers of the Shaker faith. These adoptees were allowed to leave by the time they became 21 if they wished. However, if they chose to stay in the Shaker commune, they would live a life of communal living where they didn't have to worry about uh, having to deal with, have to worry about food or having to pay your rent in the big city. You lived the life in absolution with God. The only problem was you could not procreate. Lived and worked separately in a Shaker commune. And men would work on tasks such as building and working on wagons in this wagon shed right here. While the women would do things such as farming and cleaning clothes. The, uh, eventually, there were 19 Shaker villages throughout the Northeast. And while they allowed contact with outsiders, they did not, they did not consider them a part of their community. They called the outsiders from people from the world, as they called it. One of these outsiders, a certain Nathaniel Hawthorne, would even begin to adopt certain Shaker customs and traditions and beliefs. This like, Shaker village right here is at Mount Lebanon in the town of New Lebanon in New York. Mount Lebanon Shaker village was founded in 1787 and they had a congregation in the town of New Lebanon which is down below in the Lebanon Valley that would serve to enlighten the people of New Lebanon in the Shaker beliefs. The, uh, the Shakers themselves, they lived over thousands of acres in this village. And eventually, this village comprised hundreds of Shaker followers. Even today, if you look over here, there is ruins of what were once magnificent farmsteads and houses and the fields would have comprised acres in this direction. This right here is what is known as the Great Stone Barn and it was built in the mid 1800s in order to house a burgeoning dairy industry here at Mount Lebanon. Even today the people would still inhabit the Mount Lebanon Shaker Village, and many of the houses that are still standing are private properties. However, the Great Stone Barn was lost to arson in the 1900s. Today, all that stands is the outside frame of the building. Who were the Shakers? Why are they important? Well, to understand, 
One must simply go to a Shaker village and see for yourself. These people are one of many who came to the Americas seeking a new life and freedom from persecution in their homeland. And they found it. Shaker culture is still active today. And many of the Shaker villages are open air museums for you to see for yourself. This is just one such of these Shaker villages. And there are many scattered throughout the Northeast. So, who were the Shakers? They were one of many, forming a land of opportunity. A land made up of people who were misfits in their homeland. 